There are more difficult unit operations using mixed units. Many times a measurement is written using two units. The length of a stick, for example, might be 1 meter and 60 centimeters. And it is written like this, 1m 60 cm. So you might see it written like this, and what this means is 1 meter plus or and 60 centimeters. So we will need to perform calculations using measurements like this. We're going to look at an example of subtracting mixed unit measurements. Subtracting mixed unit measurements is the most complex operation with units. You will need to break it up into steps. Step one will be to vertically align your numbers by units and subtract them individually. While subtracting, many times you will find that you cannot perform the calculation because the number you are subtracting from is smaller. During normal subtraction, you borrow and add 10 to the number. After that, you perform the subtraction. You will do a similar thing when you are doing operations with measurements. You'll borrow from the unit on the left, or the larger unit, you'll borrow one of the bigger units on the left and convert it to the smaller unit. Let's take a look at an example. So we are asked to subtract 9 meters, 39 centimeters, minus 3 meters, 45 centimeters. So what we want to do first of all is to align our two measurements vertically. So we've got 9 meters, 39 centimeters, minus 3 meters, 45 centimeters. And we'll draw a line here because we're going to perform our subtraction and put our answer here below the line. Now, the problem though that we can see right away is that 39 is smaller than 45. So I can't subtract 45 from 39. And so what I need to do is I need to borrow from this bigger unit here on the left. A meter is larger than a centimeter. One meter equals 100 centimeters. So if I borrow one meter from these nine meters, I can take one meter away from this nine meters and make it eight meters. And then I can add 100 centimeters to this 39 centimeters. Because I borrowed one meter, which is equal to 100 centimeters, and I brought it over here to my centimeter um, part of my problem. So let me rewrite what we have here. We'll, we'll put a, a bigger line here. And let's rewrite it so that we can keep our, our information organized. So now on top I have 8 meters, 139 centimeters. That's the same measurement as 9 meters, 39 centimeters. And then I'm subtracting 3 meters, 45 centimeters. And now I see that I have a larger number here on top I, than the 45, so I can subtract 45 from 139, and I, I can subtract 3 from the 8. So now I'm ready to perform the, the subtraction and to finish my calculations. So starting over here with the centimeters, I do 139 centimeters minus 45 centimeters, which equals 94 centimeters, and 8 meters minus 3 meters equals 5 meters. And so my answer to 9 meters 39 centimeters minus 3 meters 45 centimeters is 5 meters 94 centimeters. 
Let's look at another example of uh, subtracting units when we have mixed unit measurements. So I'm asked here to subtract 100 centiliter, one milliliter, minus 20 centiliter, nine milliliter. So in this example, we need to remember that one centiliter is equal to 10 milliliters. So let's rewrite the problem down here so that we have it to work with. We've got 100 centiliters, one milliliter, and we want to subtract 20 centiliters, nine milliliters. And so we see already that we have a problem, and that is that we cannot subtract nine from one because one is smaller than nine. So what we're going to need to do in this first measurement here is we are going to need to borrow one centiliter from the 100 and add it over here to the milliliters. So I'm going to borrow one centiliter, which means this 100 centiliters is going to become 99 centiliters. And I'm going to add 10 milliliters to this measurement here because I've just borrowed one centiliter which is equivalent to 10 milliliters and I've just transferred it over here to this part of my measurement. So let's rewrite the problem now so we can keep it organized. We now have 99 centiliters plus 10 plus 1, so 11 milliliters, minus 20 centiliters, 9 milliliters. So now we can perform the subtraction. 11 minus 9 equals 2, so I know I have 2 milliliters. And then 99 minus 20 equals 79 centiliters. So my answer to the problem of 100 centiliters, 1 milliliter, minus 20 centiliters, 9 milliliters, is 79 centiliters, 2 milliliters. And the point to remember here is that we're always going to borrow from the bigger unit and convert it then into the smaller units so that we can perform our subtraction when we have a problem like this where we're trying to subtract a larger number from a smaller number.